You may have read multiple news items outlining how a medical practitioner violated his professional obligations by failing to show sufficient concern for their patients, not possessing the necessary skills or motivation to carry out treatment, and ultimately putting the patient's health or life in jeopardy. This type of carelessness is known as medical negligence. Medical negligence is a serious issue that can have serious and devastating consequences for patients. In today's video, we will discuss the concept of medical negligence in detail. To prove to the court that negligence has occurred on the part of the doctor, there are four elements that the consumer must prove. The patient should first be able to prove that the doctor promised him a duty to a particular standard. This is the duty of care. When the doctor fails to provide the care as promised, it is considered a breach of duty. Due to this breach, the patient should be able to prove the harm they suffered. This is the element of damage. Lastly, we have the element of causation, which refers to the link between the breach of duty and the harm suffered by the patient as its result. To succeed in a negligence lawsuit, the consumer must make sure that they can demonstrate to the court each of the four elements. Failure to provide substantiative evidence on any one element may result in no compensation. The said compensation is in terms of money after the court assesses the damages based on loss of concurrent and future earnings, treatment cost, etc. While discussing this, we talked about how, despite being unethical, neglect may be compensated for financially. What happens though if the degree of negligence exceeds the scope of compensation? Not only did the doctor diagnose and treat the patient incorrectly, but he also exhibited obvious indifference and disregard for the patient's life and safety. The legal term for this is criminal negligence. If the doctor's negligence results in the patient's death or injury, the doctor may face criminal charges. To understand this, let us consider a case which required amputation of the right lower limb of a patient. The doctor, due to carelessness in his notes, or errors in pre-operative skin marking instead amputates the left lower limb. This is straight up an act of criminal negligence. Imagine another scenario where the doctor is performing a liver transplant surgery, but after closing up on the patient, they realize they have left a certain instrument or sponge within the body of the patient. This is another example of negligence, which could result in a criminal lawsuit. Numerous additional situations fall under the category of criminal negligence. This includes operating on the incorrect patient, executing a criminal abortion, administering anesthesia fatally or into the wrong tissues, and even leaving tourniquets on for too long, which can result in gangrene. Dental medical negligence in your office could include carrying out procedures like extractions or root canals in a way that injures the patient's nerves, or spreads infection. This also includes misdiagnosing oral cancer or periodontal disease diagnosis. We can now conclude by saying that now that you have a better idea about medical and dental negligence, you can take steps to prevent any form of carelessness towards your patient. Remember to prioritize your patient's well-being above all. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.